everybody, are you ready for a try on of some wig styles from my closet? So I have them all here in this box. Let's see what's next. It's a Raquel Welch. These are wigs that I have accumulated that my intention was to review them each individually. However, I have a special group of ladies coming over to my house tomorrow. We are going to have so much fun trying on wigs. These are friends of the family and they are um, of the age where they would really like to start thinking about the convenience of wigs. And so I have pulled several wigs from my inventory to present to them and try on and show them. And just in case they end up liking one and I send it home with them tomorrow, I wanna get these reviews done. So I'm just gonna go do one big try on review of each of these styles that I have in a box down here. Now these styles I've accumulated from different purchases uh, from clearance section at Wig Studio One, for reviews from Wig Studio One. You can find all of these styles at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link to each one so you don't have any trouble finding these. So let's start with what I'm wearing here. So this is Tony Bratton's Impressive in the color light blonde. I fell in love with this. I don't know if I'll have posted it by then, but I did one big review of all of my Tony Bratton wigs that I have accumulated. Love it. Short little shaggy cut open cap. This light blonde they did so well. It's a nice creamy color. Just layers and layers all over. This is the average size. Now remember, Tony Bratton wigs come in two sizes, the average and the plus, which is the large. So I have them all here in this box. Let's see what's next. It's a Raquel Welch. All right, this is Winter Petite. So the style is Winter Petite in R388G, which is Gradient Smoked Walnut. Winter is an adorable little pixie. I have another review of Winter coming. And it's been a while since I have reviewed a pixie style by Raquel Welch. And not just any pixie, just one of those tried and true favorite, very popular Raquel Welch pixie styles. This one is extremely popular. It's easy to see why with this two and a half inch bang area, approximately two, maybe 1.75 inch nape. It has these razored, kind of slightly wavy layers all over. So you can definitely use your hands to redirection the hair. You can spike it up a little bit if you want something maybe a little more edgy. And you certainly can smooth it out. Create a part anywhere you want because it's open cap. Now this 338 Smoked Walnut Gray, uh, what you're going to get is it looks like a, like a medium brown, like a walnut brown, which is very neutral to ash. And then within that, I think you're gonna see um, a silvery color. I'm not quite sure if it's white. I did not look at the description, but it it's a little silvery color. It just gives you the illusion of um, a salt and pepper look. Part it wherever you want. It just gives a cute little sculpted look no matter how you might like to wear it. Just, so let's move on then. The next one I have to show you. Oh, it's in the Gabor Luxury Collection. This one is called Pixie Perfect. It's petite and it's in the color Sugared Silver GL5660. So here's a little fresh Pixie in a beautiful gray silver color. This is right out of the box. So you can see it has a delicate wave to it. It also has a lot of body. Now this is an open cap with a little spot of monofilament at the crown. It's extremely comfortable. It fits my petite average head very, very nicely because again, it is a petite style. It has a nice little crown. You can get some profile on this. It has a white cap underneath, which I really like with a silvery color like this. So this is sort of a medium silver and then some white. One point seven five inch nape, two and a half inch bang, multiple layers in between. You can part it wherever you like. I think this will be a really good hit with a couple of the gals that are coming. Okay, let's see what else we got. This one is Meg in the color 1488 by Aesthetica. So this is gonna be a short crop, voluminous, more of a curly, voluminous pixie. 
I just shook it out. That's the reason why it's so big. <laughs> All right, Meg, what a cute little crop of curls. It is a voluminous curly pixie style. And you gotta like volume. It has to really suit you to love Meg, but it, she's just the cutest. So you can definitely adjust the profile here. This is by Aesthetica in the color 1488. It's kind of like a honey blonde with some gold blonde highlights in there. It has a really deep lace front and open cap. Lots of permatease, but these curls and a little wedge back. It's just darling, absolutely darling. And I'm so happy that it has that lace front because the lace front is impeccable. Move the hair away from the face. See, now this one here is right up my alley, don't you think? Love this. I love how free and tousled these curls are. It's about a six inch fringe here, but it again, it is curly, um, right around 1.75 inches on the nape, shaggy layers all over, wedge back. I don't know if this will appeal to any of the gals, but we sure are gonna have fun trying them on. So this one is in the box too, and I've been wanting to repurchase this one. I think I parted with this one too early when I reviewed it. I let it go and I'm like, oh, I wish I had this one back. This is Envy's Raven in the color light blonde. Oh, it's an adorable pixie. I just love the edgy appeal to it. It has a lace front and then it's open cap. It has some permatease. It's mostly sculpted. It has a sculpted look on the sides all the way down into a like a 1.75 inch nape here, which is completely ample, smooth taper, and all this, all this interest is on the crown, the flippiness of it. You can just flip it and twirl it, fluff it up, work it down into something a little smooth with maybe just a little bit of a lift here at the front. What did they call that? I think it's a, a fade cut. When it's a little longer there at the front. You can divide the hair however you want because there's an open top. It fits nicely, more of an average type fit. So when you bring this one out of the box, it's gonna look a mess. Just be prepared. But it is a happy mess because I can just work it. You really don't need any product to keep the lift at the front. Now don't get this one though if you just want a smooth look that's kind of plastered over the forehead because they're probably going to fight with this one and very much be unhappy with it. Raven is absolutely adorable. I'm so happy to have this one back. Now the ladies will try this one on. I have literally stacks of wigs over there. Um, Ellen Villas, some John Renault. Um, let's see what else is over there. I've got a Henry Margot, it looks like, a Renee Perry. I mean, lots of Tony Bratton's. They're just gonna have a ball. I doubt I will film this because I uh, I really want to respect their privacy and I, I just want to get to know them better and see what this whole experience of having a wig party is all about. We'll see you soon right back here at Taz's Wig Closet. <laughs>